Good morning. It's not morning. Never mind. It's 1.30. I'm on my way to go thrifting with Avia right now. I had a meeting with my manager this morning. I just got back. I ate at the house. And now I'm on my way. I'm literally 10 minutes away, which is so nice. Yeah, I just wanted to start a little vlog. So I think me and my mom and Haley are going to go get dinner tonight together. And it could be fun. So I wanted to turn the camera on. Let's get it. <laughs> We went to Buffalo. I got two things. Now, remember when I was like, oh, I need to go to Brandy because I wanted some like graphic like cut off tees? Yes. Because the thing is, is that I used to have a bunch of those, but then I was like, I need basics. And then I went too far basics. And now I'm like, I was looking, because I was thinking like, oh, I want like a nice jean with like a belt and like a graphic tee, like kind of rock star girlfriend, mm -hmm. but on the low. But I didn't have anything that fit that aesthetic because all I have are basics. Well, I got just yes. a little graphic tee. I'm thinking like brown belt and a lighter wash of jean. I could kind like of wonder boot. what you're wearing now. Yeah, with like a little boot or something. So cute. I'll just need to stop a moment and appreciate your hair. I don't ever see it up. Oh, I love this. Okay, I don't I see it up. I for a moment to appreciate me. <laughs> yes, we're going to appreciate you. Hi. I don't see it up very often anymore. I this know. This is so cute. Now, this is just another little tee. Cute. You guys have some black. I could do a black tank top under with a pair of jeans. Cute. You know what I mean? Like, not really my style right now. I'm kind of going for a little bit more classy, like, put together. But every once in a while, you're like... I want to just feel like a little teenage girl with a little graphic tee yeah. and I can be a little brandy girl, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, a little rock like, and roll girl. You know what I mean? Thank you. I'm, I feel like you appreciate this. I, I, I have my favorite pair of going out black boots from Ann Taylor. Love them to death. Yeah. But I was like, what's another pair? Because I got these and they have a little cute buckle oh, on them. Are cute. And I just thought these were like a Those are in good condition. First at Goodwill, I was like, I'm not seeing much. But then Avia went to the pajama section, got this cute little set, and I was like, good idea. So then I go and I was like, yeah, it's fine, I didn't find anything. Then as she's paying, I went to go find another piece of this and I went crazy. All of a sudden there was like 30 pieces that I wanted. We saw Silk something like that at the antique store. Yes. Five dollars. So no seam, look at the little sleeve detail. Chilling in my room Did reading it a have book. The rope, the... That's the thing, I don't think either of them do, but they have these little ties. I'll have to buy it, but it was worth it for five dollars. Yeah, you can buy something. You, you know? can use one from the other one. Right. Um, and then I've got this, not the same, but like another just black silk. Yeah. But when I move out, because these are all yours. But it's Victoria's. Yeah, it's it's one of Victoria's yours. Secret. Not vintage, yeah. just Victoria's Secret. Totally. And then I got this cute top. I was thinking more summery. Think long white skirt down to my ankles, and I'm in like Hawaii or like Croatia <laughs> or like the Hamptons. Okay, perfect. I'm picturing all of this. And it's like this top with. <gasps> oh, it. that is cute. You know, like you have to see what I'm going for. It's like that. I think necklaces. And I also got these Victoria's Secret. Pants. Ooh. To sleep in. This is from yeah. Second Street. I just like the fit of these. I think the perfect low waisted, like, I think Rachel from Friends. Oh, yeah. Like this with like a little, like, or Monica and like a little white tee mm -hmm. type thing. Okay. And I also got these. They look kind of nice on the outside, and I can go out in them without thinking I'm gonna mess them up. I feel like I've got a lot of cute, like, nice, like, nice, nice shoes. And I'm nervous to wear them out because I'm like, I can't wear this out, yeah, like, out like, in LA. So I got these, like, they almost look like Louis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're they're sh 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 but like the fabric is. Which is a nice brand, but yeah, they're really twelve dollars. Look at the little bow. Adorable. So, you know, like I can go out in these and not like because they're secondhand. I'm okay with like messing them up a little bit, and that's my haul. Where are we going? Isn't that I think we're going. Yeah, that was great, Jules. Good job. All right, that's my haul. We're gonna go get uh, food. Oh. <laughs> 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 Guys, we're in the car. Wait, I. Sometimes I just turn on the camera, I don't even look at myself first, and then I realize that I need to like freshen up a little bit. Yeah. Um, we're going to Texas Roadhouse. Sorry, I got distracted because that, that's the, we're gonna get there at the time that I was born. <laughs> it's a narcissist. Um, we're going to Texas Roadhouse because we love it and we only go occasionally because we don't, there's none in LA, so we always have to do a little road trip, and that's what we're doing right now. So we still have 45, 42 minutes until we're gonna get there. But I forgot that I was vlogging. I'm here also. Oh, Haley's here also. Are you buckled? It's a real road trip. Yeah, you can look, see it. Look at our seatbelt. Is it pretty see. out there? It kind of is. I'm excited that it's getting darker later. 
Is anybody who's with me? <laughs> Guys, we rewatched Pretty Makes History kind of recently, and why was it really good? So good. <laughs> like, why was so it really good? good? Also, I'm feel like I'm sick, but I'm just pretending I'm not. If you can kind of hear it, I was nervous. Did that you AVI not address this? <laughs> No. Have you have addressed this? I have not addressed oh, this. Oh, that would make me mad. If I was watching someone's video and they had a stuffy voice and they haven't addressed it, I would be upset. Oh, okay, why? Because <laughs> I look bald. <laughs> I do too. It's okay. It's fine. We're bald together. Yeah, we're bald twins. Come here. Because, listen, you know when you can tell someone has like, you know like those air bubbles sometimes you get in your throat? Yeah, and yeah. And they're not swallowing and they're talking still? Oh, yeah. That happens sometimes, but they're still talking. And I'm like, swallow. Because I can hear it in your voice. That's kind of similar to like stuffy nose and how they're like, but you're not addressing it. Also, the red? I kind of like it. Okay. Oh, she hates it. I don't think I sound that. Do I sound that? Do I sound that? Do you like that? Um, no, but I was just Watching saying. You guys exist. <laughs> you. Because like I feel a little tired, but I just decided that I'm not sick, even if I am. That's ow! I just poked myself. I think that that's my go-to. <laughs> <laughs> that's my go-to, though. You just have to pretend you're not. Like right. Delilah was cold the other oh. day, and I go just pretend you're not cold. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like just think you're hot, and it does work. All right, we're gonna go listen to the rest of Live and Let Die because it's in all of our heads. And then we're gonna go to the best place of the Texas Road I know him too. Where are you in the road? We're here. And it's home. What'd she say? But I feel like we don't belong here in the home. Yeah, I know what I want. Oh, my finger in the way. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Good morning. Oh my God, I have a booger. Madre, why didn't you tell me that? I didn't see you it. You were just talking. Yeah. Right, I'm still a little sick. I just, when I'm sick, I think I've already said this in this vlog, but I just pretend I'm not. So I'm not sick, but I am. <laughs> which is probably not good because I'm like hanging out with people and I'm not telling them, which is probably not morally correct. But today I'm going and having a cute little brunch with Riley. We're going some acai bowls and just catch up because i haven't seen her in a really long time um so yeah um what was i gonna say uh but that's what that's what's happening this morning i am gonna eat acai bowls here's my eating schedule if you'd like to know i'm gonna eat an acai bowl and then i'm gonna come back and we have this um like shelter orientation like we're gonna volunteer at a shelter or we're gonna try to volunteer but we have to like do an orientation first so we're doing that today but that's at like what six or something yeah. so i'm gonna eat right before that and it's gonna be perfect because i'm gonna want to eat the also i'll probably have a snack and then i'll have dinner and then we'll go and then i'll have a sweet treat after doesn't that work out perfect but i'm gonna bring you along i've got to check my text really fast because i'm getting a bunch but good morning mm. we're we're in the car and I missed you, so I picked up the camera. Really, four minutes from being there, I'm gonna be two minutes late, which is unlike me. So excited. I feel like I've been doing a really good job at like making plans with people and like actually going out and doing things and not just like being my own little bubble, which has been so nice. All right, I'm back. I'm sorry, I didn't get a lot because I like feel so weird like filming in front of people. Maybe I'll get better at that or maybe I won't. Um, because I don't think I'm really filming a lot of like my friends and that part of my life just because I don't want everything in my life out on the internet so it's kind of nice for my YouTube channel just to be like me talking if that's what you guys like to see because once you start putting too much out there things start going downhill so I've been really enjoying like kind of going out with friends and keeping that private um I have a few hours where I don't really have anything I just answered some emails and went back and forth on some like brand deals with my manager but I think I'm gonna sit here oh I also changed I'm still in the same shirt but I'm in like pajama shorts um so I think I'm gonna read a little bit I picked up um normal people I read 20 pages so far just because i told myself i needed to read 20 pages last night i've been really enjoying my cute little rom-com they mean really nothing and they're really cheesy books where i can just breeze through it and just ha be in my own little world for that however long i read it but i've heard that this is a great book and i thought it might be like a good like time to do it like i'm hoping it's not gonna put me in like a little reading slump i've heard that it's like changed people's perspectives on they look at i don't know love i'm not really sure because i thought it was like a romance book but book but when I looked it up, people were like, it's not. 
it's just not like the back means nothing like don't even look at it um i know there's maybe like a show or something about it i don't know it's like a lot of people's like favorite book and it's like recommended a lot i just am nervous that i feel like i have some like preconceived notions about going into it about like for some reason i feel like it's gonna be bad and i'm normally not that type of person like, i don't know i just for some reason something in me is like i don't think i'm gonna like it but the first 20 pages were great so i'm gonna continue reading this one month later also let me know because oh actually i'm picking you back up let me know any book recommendations i've been so into um reading recently and i'm in my little phase of i want to read sweet little rom-com books that are like popular on tiktok sue me okay like sue me that's just what i want to read if you've read anything like that comment them down below we can talk i'm down to talk about some books so comment that down below give me some really good book recommendations and let me know what you thought about normal people try not to do any spoilers just in case i haven't like finished it by the time that this video goes up or if anybody in the comments hasn't read it and wants to um but yeah if you guys are little little readers Give me some suggestions. Get two packages. One from ColourPop and one from Peter Thomas Roth. I know I know the name. I just know the order. I thought it may be Thomas Peter or something. We all know it. We all love it. Go and measure by my bed. I'm, no, no, no. By my vanity because I'm going to get like, you know those like dressers that everybody had? Well, not maybe not dressers. Like those little storage things that were white and they had the little drawers. You know what I'm talking about, right? Well, I need to get that because, I mean, so grateful, but I get sent makeup and skincare and stuff and i don't if i'm not if it's if it's not in my rotation it's just under my desk right now just not organized and my bin that i have it in is overflowing so i want to get that to organize everything and so i can like try it or like if it and also be organized like if i don't like it i can give it to somebody or like i have too much of it i can like re-gift it you know what i mean like people are insane I don't get this job, not one bit. They gave me a power serum. Ooh, an amplified wrinkle fix serum. All those wrinkles wrinkle fix? Face. Give that to me, girl. You don't have wrinkles to fix. It's I have patches. Because she share. used all mine. Okay. You haven't used all. So there's things that you say and there's things that you don't say. And when somebody's about to share something with you, normally there's not an insult coming after it. A little moisturizer. More jelly. Color pop. Um, wait, somebody else sent me stuff that I want to mention because it was really, really good. Oh, oh, it was IMGia. I am about to look so sexy soon. Sexy. Look sexier because of them. Um, no, they sent me some beautiful pieces. I'm going to tag them somewhere. Um, so just look out for that. But thank you so much for sending me stuff. IMGia stuff is so pretty. A blush. Oh, somebody else sent me. Oh, Mac. Yes, Max oh, a whole me. bunch of Max. I used it on my, on my eye palette. Is that your eyeshadow? Yeah. I said, I came into your room today you and I said, your eyeshadow looks good. Oh, Ooh, look at the shimmer in the middle. That's beautiful. Oh, we'll be using. Oh, it's a highlighter. Oh, a lip oil. Please tell me Piper's in the this. back of your video. Is it a lip oil? Yeah. <gasps> uh-huh. Uh -huh. What if I did it like a guy? <laughs> anyway, thank you to all of these fantastic brands who sent me stuff I will be using and I'll also be trying and actually letting you guys know if I like it. I'm gonna go look for a little organization stuff. I'm about to whip. <laughs> what? Did somebody try to call you? Yeah, why? <laughs> that was them canceling on us. They said we don't, we don't, they don't, they don't want, want us. us. I'm like, okay, good, because my tummy kind of hurts. Oh. Yeah, I was, I, as much as I want to help these puppies, my tummy did. <laughs> It definitely did hurt a little bit. Bad mood, but I asked my mom to draw me a bath and she lit a candle and put a towel. That's so cute. Look at her getting up coffee. I've been in a bad mood. I think I was, the puppies were supposed to give me serotonin, I think. I needed that serotonin and I'm in a really bad mood for some reason. Take a little bath and then I might like blow out my hair because we're doing apartment shopping, apartment hunting tomorrow. So I need to like be ready because it's a big day. So I might blow up my hair and like get into cute pajamas. I don't know, I'm just frustrated. Okay, lots to update. Number one, I was in such a bad mood. I tried to take a bath, but like the drain wasn't like working. So oh my God, don't even get me started. And then I was like, you know what? Like, I was in such a bad mood. I couldn't tell if it was sadness or anger. Like, my hormones were getting the best of me. And I'm not normally like that. 
and I ran, and I ran a mile, not ran a mile, I like half walked and half ran a mile, and on the treadmill, oh my god, I was just feeling so much for some reason, okay, so I did some skincare, I got into cute pink pajamas, and I got on my phone, because that's what I wanted to do, and now I'm on Pinterest, and that's making me feel better, apartment shopping, um, even though we're seeing three apartments tomorrow, and then because not because the thing got canceled today we had this booked already but we're also going to do a another dog or not dog shelter animal shelter orientation thing that's good that we had to book because it was so sad that it got canceled today i think i'm just also frustrated because i've been trying really hard to like get into like a good like schedule of like just taking care of myself and like i clean my room well, that's another thing i did when i felt when i feel awful i just clean my room and then it makes me feel better but i'm like doing really good like nighttime routines and morning routines and just like filling my time with like hanging out with friends and like just good things for me i think i was also just frustrated that i felt bad because i was like no 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 you're supposed to feel amazing after putting this much work into you feeling good why you're not allowed to feel bad but i am because it's like i don't know just normally i don't feel like this uh, something happened i don't know what like nothing caused it like normally like i'm the type of person like something will happen or like i'll see something and that'll like spiral nothing like i'm in a good mood i had a great day just all i just wanted to kill i i don't know why i feel a lot better that i do plus also plus also mm, that's new plus and also i am looking at like interior design and i'm like really excited to like do my whole apartment i'm so excited okay wait guys i'm so excited let's get some sleep oh also i have kp on my arms and my cheeks but you can't i mean you can i just does it doesn't really bother me that much because i never pick at my face but my arms like have these little bumps that like you see that how it's like red right there actually it looks pretty good right now normally in the winter it doesn't like in the summer when i'm tanner my skin tone evens out and stuff but like i used to pick at my skin all the time all the time just like picking like i don't know like white stuff it's not like a pimple or like anything like really gross it was just like build up of some sort it would like come out of it it was really satisfying so i used to do it and i like have like i wouldn't say scars from it but like just not i know that kp is not really treatable like like dermatologists don't really give you anything like there's nothing that's like scientifically proven maybe 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 there is maybe you're about to, maybe you're about to recommend me something that's scientifically proven to help but in your if you guys have that because i know it's not like that rare if you guys have that what do you do because i want to get into like a cute little like shower routine um and one of those being i've been putting maybe it looks good because i've been putting um moisturizer on like lotion every night just because i'm like maybe it's dry i don't know if you do have a suggestion leave it down below ready to go to sleep i also did eye patches and it was it was incredible it was Oh, I also, guys, sorry, I just, I love talking. I really do. I do enjoy it. I bought a, you know how I was talking about that organizer earlier in this video about like with like my extra makeup and skincare? I bought one just to see if I like it from Amazon and I'm going to build it and I'm going to put it right next to my vanity. And then when I move out, I might, because I know I'm going to need more storage, I might do two. So picture this. Here, I'll show you my vanity. I'm going to have, it's a little bit lower than that. So it probably goes about there, like there one there and then when i move out just because there's not enough room in my room right now i'll move that this way and do like one here it's like i'll put a picture of what it looks like it's this but like there and then on the other side it'll be like this whole like thing i feel like that'll be so organized and there'll be so much like storage and i am i'm excited also like i feel like that'll look like cool okay now i'm gonna go to sleep got a second wind all of a sudden um but go put on a cute pajama set and light a candle and read and be a girl or a boy and i love you i'm not ending the video i just like to remind you sometimes that's how i feel okay good night <laughs> and i'm awake now oh my god mm -hmm. good morning sorry this background is like not very cute um okay we're gonna do this we're gonna do this i jumped in the shower i just did my hair watched some youtube as i did it and now it's time to do a little bit of makeup ready to go my out literally you know how when people like fantasize about like things before they go to sleep they're like fantasizing about like boys or like whatever you know, like certain scenarios before they go to bed well mine is what i'm gonna wear the next day i literally like i fall asleep trying to think about what would be the perfect outfit and then the next day, I normally have an idea of what I want to wear. And today, I think I'm going to do these, like, low-waisted 
Oh, I did do. Okay, yeah. Oh my god, the panic in my face. I thought I didn't do a haul when I went thrifting, but I did. Those like low waisted pants that you saw, that were like striped. Um, I'm gonna wear those. I think with just like a basic white shirt. I think it might be a little chilly though, so I might like have to find a jacket or like something to go over it. Can you guys believe that like I'm going like apartment hunting today? Like what the hell? What do you mean? Like that's insane. I was thinking about this last night. Like. Haley's like learning how to drive and I'm looking for an apartment to like live in. Like what the hell? That's actually like, sometimes it makes me like so excited, but sometimes it makes me like actually wanna bomb my eyes out. I started on YouTube when I was like literally four. I'm 19. Ew, shut up. I'm so excited though for an apartment. I'm not excited to like not live with my mom and Haley because I love them, but like I'm probably gonna live so close to them that it's like, really no point to even moving out but i'm just like i'm excited to like decorate honestly i don't know what i'm gonna feel after that's done and i just have to like live there like that's gonna be boring but like decorating ooh, that's gonna be fun i'm being like really picky with apartments too which is good i guess but like it's like known that like apartment hunting in la absolutely sucks i don't know if that's because there's just so many to choose from or it's like because it's so expensive depending on where you want to be or like what the reasoning is because every time I'm like, oh, I'm apartment hunting, they're like, oh, good luck. I'm like, wait, why? But like, I get it, like it sucks. Like I've been on Zillow. <clears throat> why is it like red in that like one spot? Um, I've been on Zillow every day for like months, just like looking. Don't even know where to begin when it comes to like shopping for like furniture because I've never had to do that. I don't know if I want to go like, oh, girly. And this is my first cute teenage apartment or if i want to go like a little bit more like sophisticated or if i want to do like i just shop like at antique stores and like find like cool pieces or if i want like super clean and like minimal i don't know i know that i like want a mix of like dimmy dimmy dim like moody lighting and like <clears throat> feeling like older pieces like more mature but then i also want like pink because pink always makes me feel like super self-care and like girly and feminine um, but I need to like incorporate that into like feeling like a businesswoman because I also want to feel sexy and like sophisticated. So I have to find like an in between of that because like those can match up, but like in my head they're like one and two different things. And I'm excited to like see what I can do with that. So I'm gonna like I want to make it look like it was like staged. I'm gonna do it, but like I want it to like look like professional. It's like so exciting, and then I start to think about it too much, and it's not exciting. Because I've always been that type of person that like hates growing up. I hate it. I don't know if I've talked about this, but I, I think, I feel like I have on video, I'm not sure. But I like cried the night of my like, 10th birthday because I was like, I'm never going to be single digits again. Like I remember like, hey, like I, I still to this day cannot listen to Never Grow Up by Taylor Swift. That is my song. Like that's my, the, if that comes on, immediate tears. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. So like this probably needs some therapy because I just decide not to think about it. And then when I do think about it, it's just awful because I don't let myself think about it. But like, I'm excited. But what do you mean? Like, I'm like gonna be living like without my mom. Like, what do you mean? Like, that's not like, no, like, no. Like I was thinking the other day, hold on. My makeup's like, no, it's looking good. It's looking good. It's looking good. Um, was when I was like younger and I would go to like Caleb's like baseball games and I'd go to the playground and be doing like back walkovers and stuff like I did. And like there was like 16 year olds there or something. I would be like, they are so 16. I'm 19. Like I'd be like, they're so old. This is crazy. Cause of course I was like seven or eight. So like, yeah, they were so old to me, but I'm like, <gasps> like they weren't even that old. Like stop, like stop. Like I'm going to be moving out. I would literally live with, wait, I'm using the wrong brush. I would literally live with Haley and my mom for the rest of my life. Like I genuinely would. <laughs> Like, I, we've already decided that we're going to move to, like, Connecticut and, like, buy a mansion on the water and, like, have barbecues there when we're older. But I was, like, I just need to be independent and, like, learn how to, like, do the dishes and, like, simple things that, like, make you, like, a human. I need to learn how to do that. The vlogs, though, are going to be so good. I just know that, like, when I move out, I'm going to, like, be so thankful for my mom. Like, I already am, but, like, I'm going to be, like, wow. Like you did so much and I didn't even like realize, like I know that I'm gonna be like, oh my God, there's so much to do to take care of this house. How did I not even realize this? Done.
I have to do lips, but let's get dressed, shall we? Man. Hmm, what are you, this is what you're wearing? Cute. Are they wearing a jacket? Mm-hmm. What jacket? I don't know yet. Okay, I was just wondering. Are you coming? Yeah. Haley Bug's coming. I'm gonna ask my mom if I can borrow some of her shoes because I want like a heel on it. Like this is gonna make me seem like a little baby and I wanna feel like I'm like up. Okay, I just straightened up my room. I added purse and this little thing. This is from Depop, but it might be Ralph Lauren, I'm not really sure. This is from Free People. Um, it's my mom's, but I borrowed it. And then these are from Second Street, but I'm not really sure what the brand is. It doesn't have one. Um, these are Converse platformed. This is from Bond or Vagabond. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. And it's one of my favorite purses. I put a little scarf on the back. Um, and yeah, that's it. Earrings are from Amazon, I think. And that's the fit check. Now we go. I drove us here all in one piece. We're getting out. We're doing the first one. I can't. Can I get should I start? Should I end? I might show a little oh. bit in this vlog, but should I like I start? Mention. Should I start a, a an apartment vlog, apartment hunting vlog? Oh, I see what you're I saying. Know. I think I might, guys. You'll see. You, I'm not leaving you out. You'll see some stuff, but wait. Look how beautiful the lighting is. <laughs> my room for reference for reference it's me sized <laughs> okay we have we have a little bit of an update we, we got chick-fil-a delicious and then sorry my ears need to pop and then i sounded like a valley girl so i had to take a deep breath we sound like such we valley sound girls like such valley girls it hurts we went to another one that was a little bit closer to um our house just because i was like oh this is nice like great location that man was a creep we went into somebody's apartment like they i guess they just didn't have enough to show like, us let me show you this apartment. oh you look so pretty thank you look at her hair right now madre yeah because i'm in between two cars oh i don't God, like this nice. first of all he's like you are my one o'clock appointment i was like no we're at the 12 30 because it's 12 30 right now anyway then he was like, you guys all look alike. And I'm like, okay, oh, and then very he goes, nervous right such now. Such a cliche, he goes, and you're- Oh, and this is your sister? Her, is this your other sister? I'm like, oh, you're making me uncomfortable. And then- What did you say? Adorable. I said, uh, I, I go, I go, huh, adorable. <laughs> but, and then he like took us into the one bedroom and it was occupied by this random man who was like playing video games in his like 30s and messy. And I was like, I'm gonna cry. And then he was like, wanna see the amenities? And I said, no, thank you. And we left. <laughs> Anyway, now now we were like we need to go back and figure out other things, so we're gonna we're gonna go tour more. Okay, um, we're here. Wait, did I even say we were going? I don't know. I'm all over the place. My brain now is at is apartments, and I can't think of anything but apartments. And that's just how my brain works. It's some it's one of my flaws. Once I get my brain set on something, that's all I can think about. But right now we're gonna go and do the orientation for the puppies and the kittens and any other animals that they have. I think Except it's- reptiles. I will not touch a reptile. I would look at one. Give it words of affirmation if that's what it needs. You're very cute. Yes, okay. That's it. <laughs> not very good I at words. I am not very good at words of affirmation. Anyway, I just said something funny, but I had to cut it out and you don't get to know. Ha ha, doesn't that make you feel left out? <laughs> You're a jerk. We're gonna go in. We're eight minutes early because we're early queens. And I don't know what I'm gonna film. We'll see what the vibe is in there. Last time, I actually have clips. Maybe I'll put them in instead of, maybe I'll put these in instead of doing this. I came here and I filmed and I got to pet puppies and kittens and I never posted it. So here's some of those clips. This is gonna be a long vlog, but here's some of those clips. <laughs> They're so tiny. Yeah, these guys are about two months old. Oh my goodness, you are just so cute. You're so tiny. Do they get big? Um, it depends on the cat, and also just like how much they eat as kittens and stuff. Right. It's like Does the gray. Really? Does yeah. it depend on how much they eat? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, like, like as like if the more they eat as like kittens, they tend to be bigger cats. I did not know that. And then like cats on the street will end up being bigger just because like the way their hormones work. It's like they overcompensate, so that way they they're safe being. Are you you got dinky eyes, mister. You can clean your eyes out. You're you sleep in too much. Oh my baby. Yeah. You come here, pretty girl. Oh my god. Come here, pretty girl. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. Then you're gonna have cats. Love attention. I mean, look at this. Yeah. Like, total lap cats, totally snuggles. Oh my god. You so sweet. <laughs> you like to be oh rubbed. Oh my goodness. Itty bitty kittens, those have to be the, like, the most vulnerable because 
the city and county shelters just don't have the resources to be able to like bottle feed and these are the cats mm -hmm. that need to be fed like every two hours right. and you're just not going to survive. It's a really simple adoption process. You'll come in, take a walk around if there's anyone you're interested in, just get their names. Um, you'll sign up on like, our wait list um, with whoever you're interested in and then we will go over their um, their notes, all the things we have on them, behaviorally, wow. medically, everything we have. And then you'll pick your three favorites and you'll come and get to meet all of them. Um, and then if you decide, you decide who you want to take oh home and then we we'll do two paperwork and take them home. Wow. Same day adoptions, it's really easy. Wow. You want it to be like that. Yeah, we don't like, so these guys were just born at the beginning of September. Oh, I've never seen, I've never seen this. such a small thing. They're so tiny. Look at just so tiny. So little. Yeah. I've never seen <laughs> feeding because they don't know how to like, eat yet. So we bottle feed. It's so much nicer when they come in with mom because the mom does all the work. Right, right. No, no. Oh, the tail's wagging. Oh, yeah. These guys are so friendly. And Sophie's like, Oh, I want to be your friend. Play with me. Yeah, she's chatty. Yes. They're chatty breed. Yes, it you is. You guys talk more than chatty <laughs> breed. Dakota's the best. I see. She's so good with kids. Oh, I love Dakota. Yeah, there's like a YouTube and then there's also just like on BuzzFeed itself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Were they bringing puppies and stuff? Um, yeah, but we did it because it was also an actor. We brought all the seniors. But do you guys do the ones where it's puppies? Is that you guys? Sometimes it's us, sometimes when we have puppies. Because I've seen yeah. those videos. Yeah, like, sometimes there so are. Ours. Yeah. Adventure buddies where at, you sign up as a volunteer and then you can come and take your dog for the day and you can take them like on hikes or to the beach and it's a great way for them to get exposure as well as getting like a day out of the shelter. So, so it's really I've fun. Oh yeah, like it's that. super so fun. Smart. But now we're gonna go in and do the orientation i'll tell you how it is or i'll film i'm not really sure but i'm super excited let's go Madre, he's mine Madre. no i really love him Madre, i really really love him i'm in love Madre, i really want him really bad oh yes you are a widow babe <laughs> yes you are oh you are just out oh sweet Oh, are we back? Yes, we are. That was so much fun. But yeah, now we're back. It was a long drive home, which I was not prepared for. And my mom has a headache. This is her right now. <laughs> um, but I just fed the dogs and I need to figure out what I want to eat now. Oh, baby, as you are. But that's the update. Great day, super busy day. Also have Krav in the morning. I have some HelloFresh options like I could fix bacon jalapeno mac and cheese because it looks delicious but i don't know um, let me look in the pantry no like potatoes and like salmon next time we get salmon wouldn't that be yummy like roasted potatoes and salmon this dog oh my goodness you're just a baby dog you're just a baby dog oh you're just a baby dog oh but you're just a baby doggy doggy dog i figured it out we're gonna do tilapia which is a fish because it has roasted potatoes Oops, we're gonna fix right now. Alexa, turn on Frank Sinatra Top Hits. Stand by one. What am I gonna do though when I don't have anybody else in the house and make the open space? You're gonna do that. You got that. You do it my way. You slammed against the counter or the floor. I'm gonna have to call my guy friends just to come over to work. You get one of those rubber things that I have. Good morning. I feel like I've been vlogging for like ever because I think like I've said good morning like five times. But welcome to this morning. Today is Thursday and we are going to a craft class. And we're 15 minutes away. Here's the fit. We've got the mom. Here's her fit. That's all. I Today is more of a chill day for me. I have to edit and my little thing from Amazon came which is exciting so I'm gonna build that and organize all my like makeup and 
wash my brushes and stuff. A little bit of work here and there, but that's about it. It's, it's a chill day. I'm not being very social today. But this weekend, I'm gonna be so social, it's insane. This vlog is probably gonna be ending today, but don't fret, I will be vlogging again that's what I do. Uh, uh, um, all right, let's go punch some bags. Oh, we are so back. We are so back. And this looks like I put my blush in the wrong spot, but I didn't. It's just because I was hot. Ooh, and hot. you know what else is hot? That man in there. There was Jules, this. what if he watches this? Why would he watch this? <laughs> Let me get home and then we'll talk about this hot man. All right, we're back. I changed, well, I showered, I changed. And now I'm gonna make some food because I've not eaten yet and it's two and I'm dying because we worked out. Whatever, I've, I'm fixing some food. Right, it's time to cook some eggs. I just spilled it on my pants, but what are you gonna do? He said, I'll taste it for you. 30 seconds, 38 seconds. <laughs> yeah, I feel good about that. Um, I fixed some eggs. And now we're gonna fish. But let's talk about this handsome, handsome man. I feel like the moment's passed, but because I said, oh, we'll talk about him later, I can't really not. We've already talked about him. He's beautiful. He's about yay tall. Yeah, he is tall. It's like six, gotta be six four. Yeah, probably no more. But big. Or six three, yeah. But I said, what did I, I said? I didn't really get a great look at his face. She goes, I think it was chiseled. <laughs> <laughs> He's too young for me. Uh, he might be too old for me. I don't know. I feel like, what, what's too old? 24. 23. Nah. 20. No, it's not. I think 20. 25 is too old. No. No. You said that. If I brought the first, <laughs> now we're going off. If I brought the perfect man home and he was 24, you'd say no. I would be like, just wait a year. What about that two. man? What if he's 24? Oh, he's less cute. Like, could you? That's what I'm no, saying. No, no, no. It's too old. He's Who's definitely name? Australian, too. I just know it. But I already scoped him out when I'm. <laughs> When I moved up closer to Yeah, me. she comes up close to me as we're in the class. She goes, she's cute for you. I said, I know. <laughs> so pretty. He was so pretty. He had, which is weird because normally, like, I feel like brunettes are normally, like, the standard. But he was blonde. Yeah, dirty blonde, right? Yeah. He looked, like, Australian. Like, yeah, he, he did. He looked Australian. He did. Go. Oh, wait, did I tell them what we were doing? I don't think so. Um, We're going and we're touring uh, the apartment again just because I like it and I want to make a decision and we're gonna go tour two oh. units. Units? Floor yeah. plans? Mm -hmm. two, two, two of them. I've already seen them, but I wanna see them again. Um, so I'm gonna eat and then we kinda gotta go. I've been haunting so much. Oh.